Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. I wanted to welcome you to the section on sockets. This section is going to be quite interesting. It's dealing with networks and how to communicate over two different programs or two different computers. And what we're going to do is there's two basic um, concepts behind sockets and that's that you have a server and you have a client. And what happens is the server is it can in this case um, in this tutorial it's going to be on our computer so we're going to be talking to our own computer but if you were trying to make an actual socket program the server is usually on another computer and you need to know the IP address and the port number and those are the two things you're going to use to connect these two together so the server is going to sit and wait for clients to try to connect to it and the client will use a uh, TCP which is transfer control protocol to try to connect to a specific port on a specific IP address so that's what a constructor of the socket we're going to create in a client uh, object or client class and it's going to try to connect to that port and if it's accepted then the server socket will create a socket that accepts the client socket and therefore have another uh, connection um, connect to the client so there's an input and an output on the same port between both of these uh, objects or programs and you're going to be able to communicate um, data uh, text uh, any type of information you need and just so you don't overlap on some type of port that may be used for something else I put a reference right here if you go to this site um, I don't, it might not be the most official site in the world but it does show you uh, the common port numbers for, for that are specified for certain things and some of the more common ones that you know are probably HTTP which is port 80 and that is the pretty much the internet port and you don't want to use that so in our examples we're going to use port number 9999 and that's pretty much the customary you know messing around with their, your computer uh, setting up a socket port number and that is the basic idea behind a socket I'll overview it again it's just two programs uh, one is called a server and one is called a client and the client tries to connect to the server on a certain port number and the server accepts it it can de decline it but it usually if it accepts it which that's the whole point of what I'm trying to teach you is what happens when it's accepted then the server also connects to the client and they have uh, a line of communication and we're gonna have to use some IO to communicate between these two sockets so that's what it is and join me in the next tutorial um, I don't know if I'm going to code the server up first or the client up first but that remember they're two separate programs so they're gonna have two we're gonna have to make probably a project uh, Java project for each one instead of put it, we can put it all in the same Java project folder but we would have to have a main method uh, for each for the server and another main method for the client so that's basically what it is, and join me in the next tutorial, like I said. Thank you, guys.